Welcome to Informatica On Demand. This demo will introduce you to Informatica On Demand's data synchronization service that integrates Salesforce with your enterprise data quickly, easily, and affordably. Let's begin our demo. Today, we're going to load Microsoft Access customer master data into our Salesforce org. We'll source account and contact data from a Microsoft Access CRM application and load it into Salesforce's contact object. We'll easily create connections to Microsoft Access and Salesforce. We'll then transform the data before it is loaded into Salesforce. We'll link the contacts to the proper parent account. Let's log in. Once logged in, we're presented with our continuous monitoring. Here you'll see my activity log with all the jobs I've run today. To start using the on-demand data synchronization service, click on the new button at which we'll be presented with a six-step wizard. Our first step is to name the task. We'll define an operation. Today we'll be using an upsert. This will allow us to take a key from our Microsoft Access CRM system and use it to either update or insert new records as they appear in our input data. In step two, we give information about our source connection. From the drop-down box, I can select my Microsoft customer data or any other connection object available to me. I can edit this connection or I can create a new connection object. Today we'll edit. Here you can see the information necessary to connect to a Microsoft Access object. I can also test my connection before I work with it. Once I've got a green light, I'm good to go. We've gone out and read the Access Catalog. We can select our table. We'll select our contact object. In step three, we give information about our target. We can create a new connection object to a new system or just choose an existing one. Let's take a look at what we need to connect to a Salesforce object. You'll see the typical information you'd use to connect to Salesforce today. In addition, we can test our connection and we're ready to go. We'll select our contact object as a target and we'll notice that we have a preview of the data that we're going to work with. Step four is an optional step which allows you to specify a data filter on Salesforce objects, databases, or files. This step allows you to limit the amount of data being transferred. In step five, the field mapping step, we map the source and target fields together and also perform any transformations as part of the data transfer. By default, any field names that match will automatically be linked together. Simply by clicking on a source or target field, we'll highlight the field on the other side. For fields that don't match, you can simply drag and drop the source fields on top of the target field. If you drag more than one source field on top of another source field, an automatic concatenation transformation is applied. By clicking on the transformation icon, you'll open the transformation or expression editor. Here you can see the source fields available to me, the functions available to me to apply to my source field. There are well over a hundred different transformations available to you. In addition, we can apply different operators to create complex logic for our transformation. Help is available at the push of a button. Full descriptions of all functions and techniques are available in the online help. The data synchronization service also allows you to, to perform a lookup to translate data from one system to another. Creating a lookup is quite easy. I click on the lookup icon and I'm presented with the field lookup dialog. What I'd like to do is take my Microsoft contacts external ID and look that up in my Salesforce account object and match that to its external ID. 
I want to return the Salesforce account ID so that I can properly relate my newly created contact records with the corresponding Salesforce account record. And we're done. Now we can save our object and run it. It appears in our task list, but before we run it, let's take a look at our account and contacts objects in Salesforce. We'll click on our Siemens object and we'll notice that there are no contacts associated with this record. Back to On Demand and we'll run. As once our task is finished running, we're brought back to the activity log and we can see that four records have been loaded into our Salesforce object. Let's refresh our screen. And we'll see that three contacts have been added and one contact has been added to another account. So let's add a new contact record to our Microsoft CRM application. We'll add our new Conan O'Brien record. Now add it to our system. We'll again kick off our newly created task that will load our contacts. Our task has completed running and we can see we now have five records from New York. We'll take a look at our account record. We'll refresh it. And now we'll see that we have four contacts, one of them being Conan O'Brien. Let's summarize what we've seen in our demo. We showed how easy it is to connect to Microsoft Access and seam seamlessly load it to Salesforce. We showed how easy it is to transform data before loading into a target, in this case Salesforce. We showed how easily you can relate data to another object, in the case today, through a lookup. We showed you continuous monitoring to see exactly what's going on in the environment. 